just want to really quick you, quickly show you how to make a Punnett square uh, using Google Drawings. So up here in my taskbar, I can insert some different things. Uh, I'm going to start with a shape. Uh, I will choose a rectangle, uh, and then I can use the uh, the grid on here to make it roughly square. I actually need it a little bit bigger. So that looks good enough. Uh, I want the inside of this to be transparent. So I click on the paint bucket here and then select transparent. Uh, and I want the line, the outline, to be just a little bit thicker. So the border weight, uh, I'm going to move up to two points. Uh, next thing that I'm going to do is insert a line. And one thing that's really nice about Google Drawings is it automatically finds the midpoint of that square that I just made. So it's really, really easy for me to turn that square that I made into a Punnett square. And it even learns uh, that I'm using the uh, the two pixel line. Yeah, let's see, don't want to do that. Okay. Uh, so the next thing that I'm going to do for the Punnett square is insert a text box for the uh, for the letter allele. Uh, I'm just using B uh, as an example letter. And let me make that text just a little bit bigger. We can go bigger than that. Okay. Uh, and then I'll need three more of these to fill in around the rest of the square. Uh, since it's already selected, I can hit uh, on a PC, Control C, on a Mac would be Apple C, to copy. I just selected the letter. Let me select the whole. It's just the text box. There we go. Copy it, and there we go. Uh, I can just move these Bs to where they need to be around this Punnett square. Uh, and just for the, uh, the sake of doing this, let's make them all, or both parents, heterozygous. So to fill in the Punnett square, basically what's happening is this capital B here is getting dropped down uh, into both of these boxes. Uh, the lowercase b here is getting dropped down into both of these. This b is getting moved across here and here, and that b is getting moved across here and there. Uh, so I'm going to need four more text boxes, which I can just insert uh, by pasting the one that I've already made and then adding letter b's to it. And if I find that my shape is either too big or too small, my Punnett square is too big or too small. What I can do is hold down the control button and select not just the square, but the lines, uh, and then right click and uh, hit group or do control alt and G. And what that does is make those three elements, the two lines and the square, just one piece. So if, let's say I want to make that bigger, or smaller, I can do that all at once without having to worry about fixing each line individually. Uh, so let me fill in this square really quick. So I should, yep, I can just hit paste four more times. Let's see, in this box, so let me get these in place first. Okay, so in this box, I'm going to have two capital B's for the dominant alleles, uh, one from each parent. In this box, I'm going to have one dominant allele from this parent, and then a recessive allele from that parent. Here, same thing, I have one dominant allele and one recessive allele, but the parents that the dominant and recessive alleles come from are different but it ultimately doesn't matter for 
this organism. And then here in this box, I have this recessive allele and that recessive allele. So two little bees. Uh, to change the whole size of my drawing, there's this um, button down in the corner I just click on. And there we go. Uh, let's see, so I've just called this blank Punnett square. Let me call this uh, example Punnett square. In your uh, assignment, what you can do is just make you know, one Punnett square. And then what you'll be able to do is insert it um, into the, the document that you're working on. And then to just make another one so you don't have to start from scratch every time. You can do file, make a copy, make one for the next problem, uh, and then just delete the letters and add in whatever new letters you need. Uh, and if I go over to, um, say, to my problem, uh, if I want to insert that Punnett square that I just made, I can do insert drawing from drive, and that should, yep, pops up right there. Uh, let's see, I'll do insert unlinked. Um, I shouldn't need to access your original drawing. Hit insert, and there it is. There's that Punnett square that I just made in the drawing. Uh, the question is asking me to describe the phenotypes of the parents and write the probabilities of the offspring, and I can just do that here in the space underneath the drawing.